Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville, everybody. My guests are Brian Williams from Hands On Nashville and Dr. Ron Wooding, who's the principal of Cowell Elementary School. And Brian and Ron were um, talking before the break about Hands On Nashville Day. And, and what a great resource that has been uh, to the community. And I know so many schools, just mm -hmm. like yours, Ron, are very appreciative of all uh, that you do throughout the year, uh, in addition to regular Hands On Nashville Day. If someone wants to volunteer, do they have to have a skill? Do they have to have a talent? Have they ever have to, had painted before, Brian? <laughs> no, no. They, we, willingness is, is what we need, right? Yes. Yeah, it's it's an interest in service and a willingness to come out and serve is all they need. That's uh -huh. one of the beauties of, of that day, of Hands on National Day specifically yes. is that we do organize it so that if you want to just come and serve, you can. Yeah. Um, all you need is willingness. You don't have to bring any tools. Okay. Um, you just show up just and show you can up. serve, whether that's going to be painting or, or weeding or planting or You're doing right. Weather stripping, it doesn't matter. We're going to provide the resources for you to be able to serve. Believe me, I, I've done it and you guys really do. So don't just show up. That's right. Uh, Dr. Wooding, I know you will really appreciate um, the partnership, the mm -hmm. relationships mm -hmm. that you've developed thanks to Hands On Nashville mm -hmm. and some of the corporations that have been instrumental in helping with this project. Um, I, I firmly believe relationships are key um, and developing not just a one-time event but a long-lasting relationship with community members so they can come back and actually sow more into our learning community at Caldwell Elementary. So it, we are very appreciative in, in ensuring that we sustain that relationship with our community partners that hand, through Hands On Asheville. Right, and I know you're very good about making sure you, you reiterate to the students that these are volunteers who've come in and helped with their school. So mm -hmm. that means something as far as how they feel about them. Well, part of our, 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 behavior, our behavior program is being respectful, responsible, and safe. So I think a lot of virtues must be taught to our children. So ensuring that they understand the importance of individuals volunteering and individuals giving back so they can reciprocate that with that servant leadership type piece. And that's what we mm -hmm. hope, that you have a youth program for uh, any young people who may want to do some volunteering throughout the year. Yeah, you you know, service leadership is a is a big component of what we do at Hands on Nashville, and research tells us, anecdotal evidence tells us, and, and anyone who's ever parented or been a guardian or, or worked with children knows that if you can get them out serving and, and be learning empathy mm -hmm. for others, that that's only going to enhance their life experience, and I think, we think, and we know that it enhances their ability to lead, yeah. and so so teaching leadership skills through service is a, is a big component of that program and, and as we've already mentioned we're, we're laying the foundation for future service you know mm -hmm. children and youth are going to be the adults that take this community and other communities to the next in you know to, through the next few years and and we want to lay that foundation of service now so that when they're adults they're active philanthropists they're active volunteers and, and supporters of the community that's exactly mm -hmm. what we hope they will be when is Hands on Nashville? How much time do we need to set aside for it this year? Yeah, it's Saturday, September 19th. Okay. Um, it is from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. So it's a nice little bite-sized piece okay. of time. Uh, your, your, your Saturday morning, that's what we ask of you. Uh, and as we've already mentioned, you can go to the website and find a, a school that you're interested in. If you don't have any particular school, we will we will get you uh, signed up to a school where there's a great need. But, yeah. but Saturday, uh, September 19th, 8.30 to 1130 is when we need people. Sounds good. I am very proud that News Channel 5 is a sponsor yes. and we'll have a team this year that I've signed up to be a part of. If someone um, wants to volunteer but they don't have a team, they can sign up as individuals? That's right. They can sign up as individuals for that day uh, and, and come and serve. Um, and they're going to get to know, you know, that's the other beauty of, of volunteerism is that you're serving along with others. Yeah. Um, and there is community building that happens and team building that happens and relationships that are established through service. Well, I tell you, I'm excited about it. I always enjoy being a part of Hands on Nashville and anything you all do. You do it with style and helping this community tremendously. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here, Brian. And thank you so much, too, Dr. Wooding. Most and, and I wish you the best at Caldwell Elementary. And we welcome all to come visit us at Caldwell okay. and see what we are doing. Yeah. Well, we definitely yeah. have to do that. We appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank appreciate y'all being here. But when we come back, we're going to be talking about all that we have to expect from Nashville Rep this year. It's going to be a great great time so stay with us we'll be right back